Hi everybody, in this video we're going to load 3JS from a local folder into the code editor. So first we're going to have to download 3JS. Now you could go to the 3JS website and download it here. It's about a 300 megabyte folder compressed and it contains a bunch of different files that you may or may not use. So I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use a different way. We're going to Google GitHub uh, Mr. Doob 3JS. And here we go, GitHub Mr. Doob 3JS. This is where the latest releases of 3JS can be found. We want to go into the build folder. And there's three different ones. There's 3JS, 3MinJS, and 3ModuleJS. We want the module. So I'm going to click on that. Just click download. And here's our 3JS module. So we're just going to right click this and save as. And you can save it somewhere on your computer. I'm going to put it in the downloads folder and see it's saving it as a JavaScript file. So just hit save. There we go. So now it's ready to go. So now we just have to go into our code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code and put it in here. I would put it in a special folder because we're going to be using different JavaScript modules. So I've made a folder called modules. So to do that you can just click this new folder button and name it. And then you just drag and drop that file in there. And now you have three module JS in your code editor. So to link it, you're going to use script tags in the body section of your index.html file. I'm going to import the 3JS module in the body section with a script tag because all my code will be contained in that same script tag. So you have to put script type equals module. Without the module, it will not work. You will get an error. And you just put import asterisk as three from and put the location of the file in the directory here. And then modules is my folder and 3.module.js is the file name. And I want to run my code. Everything's working so that means 3.js is loaded and we're ready to go.